we have been given a major honor, and that's the honor to thank the 5.7 million Korean War veterans who went off to Korea as young men and young women to protect a foreign land. 120,000 were injured. 36,000 gave the ultimate sacrifice. Selflessly, you serve with dignity and honor, and we salute you. To us, the people of Korean heritage, you will forever be our heroes. Thank you for giving us the opportunity for freedom. Thank you for answering the call to help your fellow man. As we sit in this church, we understand the awesomeness of your deed. You followed, you listened, and you served a greater purpose. We are not here together by random chance. We thank you, we thank our Almighty God for the awesomeness of your response to the call. While at times we may be too busy to acknowledge your deeds, know that we have never forgotten what you have done for us. We hope that you've seen the fruits of your efforts amongst those who are here and amongst those who are in Korea. You have saved a nation. You have given us the chance for dignity and prosperity. By your actions, the Republic of Korea has transformed into a modern, compassionate, and giving nation. We are honored if you feel the Korean community has been worthy of your sacrifice. We are eternally grateful for your love and friendship. Thank you. Kamsamida. We thank you all. It really is an honor and a privilege for me to be here today. I'm honored to be in your presence. Of course, the president in the presence of so many veterans and their family are true American heroes. And we will never, ever forget that. We ask that you give strength and good health to the veterans who dedicated their lives to serve at a young age. We pray that the rest of their lives be filled with the joy and all that they need. You are with us at this table. With thanksgiving, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.